on the edge of 11. On the edge of a high bank made of great broken rocks in a circle. We came above a still more cruel crowd, and here, because of the repulsive extensive stench that the deep abyss throws up, we approached it in this shelter of a great monument, on which I saw an inscription that said, I hold Pope Anastius, whom Photitus drew away from the true path. The master said, We must delay our descent until the, our sense of smell is somewhat used to the foul wind, and then we will not notice it. I said to him, Find us something to compensate so that the time is not wasted. And he, See, I have thought of it. He began, My son, within these walls of stone are three graduated circles like those you are leaving. They are filled with accursed spirits, but so that the sight of them may be enough to inform you. In future, listen how and why they are constrained. The outcome of all maliciousness, which heaven hates its harm, and every such outcome hurts others, either by force or deceit. But because deceit is a vice peculiar to human beings, it displeases God more. And therefore the fraudulent are placed below, and more pain grieves them. The whole of the seventh circle is for the violent, but since violence cannot be done to three persons, it is constructed and divided in three ranks. I say violence may be done to God or to himself or one's neighbor, and their person or possessions, as you will hear in clear discourse. Death or painful wounds may be inflicted on one's neighbor in devastation, fire, pillage, on his substance. Therefore, the first rank torments all homicides, everyone who lashes out maliciously, and thieves and robbers in their various groups. A man may do violence to himself or to his property, and so in the second rank, all must repent. In vain, who deprive themselves of the real world, or gamble away and dissipate their health, or weep there when they should be happy. Violence may be done against the deity, denying him and his blaspheming the heart and scorning nature and her gifts. So the smallest ring stamps with its seal both Sodom and Cahors. And those who speak scornfully of God in their hearts. Human beings may practice deceit, which gnaws at every conscience or on one who trusts them or on one who places no trust. This latter form of fraud only severs the bond of love that nature created, and so in the eighth circle are nested hypocrisy, sorcery, flattery, cheating, theft, and selling of holy orders, pimps, corruptors of public office, and similar filth. In the previous form that love that nature creates, is forgotten. And also that which is added later, giving rise to special trust. So in the ninth, the smallest circle, at the base of the universe, where Dis has his throne, every traitor is consumed eternally. And I said, Master, your reasoning proceeds most clearly and lays out excellently excellently this gulf and those that populate it but tell me why those of the great marsh those whom the wind drives and the, the rain beats and those whom come together with sharp words are not punished in the burning city if God's anger is directed toward them and if not why are they in such a state and he to me Why does your mind err so much more than usual, or are your thoughts somewhere else? Do you not remember the words with which your Aristotle's ethics speak of the three natures that heaven does not will, incontinence, malice, and mad brutishness? 
And how incontinence often offends God less and incurs less blame? And if you consider this doctrine correctly, and recall to mind those that suffer punishment out there ab above, you will easily see why they are separated from these destructive spirits, and why divine justice strikes them with less anger. I said, O oh, son that heals all troubled sight, you make me so content when I explain, you explain things to me but to, that the question is as delightful as to know. Go back a moment to where you said that usury offends divine goodness and unravel that knot. He said to me, To him who attends, philosophy shows in more than one place how nature takes her path from the divine intelligence and its art. And if you note your phys physics well, you will find not many pages in that art follows her as well as it can. And the pupil does the master. And that your art is, as it were, the grandchild of God. By these two, art and nature, man must earn his bread and flourish, if you were called to mind Genesis, near its beginning. Because the usurer holds to another course, he denies nature in herself. And that which follows her ways, putting his hopes elsewhere. But follow me now by the path I choose, for Pisces quivers on the horizon and all boots cover cars. All boots covers cars. The north or west wind and over there some ways off, we descend the cliff. 